Today I'm going to share with you one of my all-time favorite recipes for eating spinach, drinking spinach. You won't believe it. The beautiful thing about this, well there's a lot. You can serve this special drink to non-believers, to doubters, and it's an amazing, shocking experience to see them just absolutely love it. I've got the recipe from this book called Plant Strong. Uh, we eat a whole food plant-based diet, but it's really for everybody. And it's called Sorbetto Verde. And it's very easy to make. It's just five ingredients. And also I'll share with you some of the very special qualities in the ingredients that you won't find anywhere else. I'm not talking about nutrition either. So let's do this. I'll post the recipe for you in the description below, but trust me, it's only five ingredients and it's very, very easy to make. First, you're going to have two cups of grapes and you'll have two cups of ice cubes, two cups of fresh spinach. You can use frozen spinach, but I like fresh spinach. And about a quarter cup of lime juice and just a touch of maple syrup. So here we go. You'll need a heavy duty blender like this a Vitamix because you're dealing with ice cubes and you want to put the ingredients in the blender in the order I described and, and I'll explain why. First we start with the grapes because this is going to give you the liquid to get going. See? Nice and frothy. Nice. Then I put in just part of the spinach leaves. Okay, here we go with the ice cubes. rest of the spinach. This spinach, by the way, is pretty, pretty special to us because um, we've been growing spinach since, see, we sowed it in early September and it grew over the winter and now this is mid-June and we just finished harvesting the rest of the spinach. It's a pretty beautiful thing in Kodiak, Alaska to have four to five months of harvesting spinach before it bolts, which is usually like in two or three weeks, right? Anyway, we celebrate spinach as our favorite winter green and all around, all year green. Anyway, so you put the spinach in, add your lime juice, a splash of maple syrup, Now, one thing about the lime juice is I found this product. It's called uh, True Lime, and it's a powdered lime. And there's lots of times I have found when I was cooking professionally, we did gourmet dinner cruises and wildlife trips for 15 years, is there's many times I would make a sauce like, or like a salsa or some sort of dip, and I wanted lime juice, but I didn't want all the liquid. Anyway, True Lime, this is great. You can get True Lemon as well. Okay, here we go. It's going to be a little loud.
And that's all there is to it. It's this great kind of slurpy, frosty freeze. And you want to serve it immediately. And it's tangy lime and sweet. And the best thing is people don't even know there's spinach in it unless you tell them. So, mmm, really, really yummy. It's the best. So here's what I wanted to share with you as far as the ingredients go. You know, food doesn't just give us the basic, build, basic building blocks of nutrition like calcium and vitamin C and vitamin D and all of that kind of stuff. All food have spiritual qualities like energetic qualities. So I want to give you just a little taste of what we just made in this verdi, the sorbetto verdi. Spinach, for example, gives you, or represents, but it gives you more uh, simplicity, right? So spinach, simplicity, qualities of simplicity. And then the grapes, you'll love this. Divine spiritual love, sympathy. Isn't that nice? And then lime, lime is a brain stimulant. These days we're hearing a lot about neuroplasticity and healthy brain, healthy gut connection. So there you go. Lime is a brain stimulant. Alrighty. Thanks for joining me. I'll put the recipe in the comments below. If you have any questions or maybe variations of the theme here, let me know as well. That way we can all know. Meanwhile, as far as gardening channel here, Keep your hands in the dirt and your eyes on the stars. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.